<laughs> I think Bat is it Bat Woman or Bat Girl on the TV show that is also played by a black girl now. Oh, I don't know. I no. don't watch the Bat Girl TV no. too much. It's Bat Woman. Bat Girl looks on her phone like people actually leaked it. She does sound like she's having a mental breakdown. So, see, she's the victim. Uh, All right, she's That's not it. the victim. Being uh, being mentally you, ill does blaming. not warrant being. But didn't Dude, the Rock? Isn't do... that wild? Didn't the Rock do Tooth Fairy? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> probably. That was the Rock, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yo, but isn't and that Vin Diesel? Was it Vin Diesel did like the pacifier or something? I think so. Stop the work and fucking hold for everything. Welcome to the Hold for Everything see. podcast, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Hold for Everything podcast. Jake, Jake Just has is... gotten bit by mosquitoes. <laughs> Jess has gotten bit by mosquitoes. Um, what time do you have to go to work, Jess? You have an overnight? Uh, yeah. But I got out at like four in the morning yesterday, so. What, what is, what's the film that you're on? Uh, Paradise Highway. It's called. Great. Who's who's it starring? Do we know them? Do we care? Yeah, I'm Morgan Freeman. Yeah, right. Julia We Binoche. discussed this 14 times last week. Yeah, Julia. Everything from last week to the, to Everything the has apparently. been forgotten. Everything has been forgotten. Yeah. It's fine. Um. Oh my god. Have you met Morgan Freeman yet? Yeah, he's gone though. He was here one day with me and then he left. He <laughs> with you? He was just hanging day. out with you and Well no, not with me, but I mean the day that I was here. He was here and then he dipped out to go shoot another one. This guy's so... making millions just And he's like eighty, dude. Dude, like when do you just give it up? Yeah, seriously. I mean I guess if you enjoy it, but do you think he enjoys it though? Yeah. Yeah. He has no I other do. reason to really keep doing it. I don't see why. Yeah, I you know. think he does. I mean, did he seem chill or are you about to lay a bomb on us and tell us that Morgan Freeman is the worst person you've ever met in your whole life? No, 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 no. He's actually he's he's chill. He's cool. That doesn't cool that doesn't do anything for us. No, he's he's chill and he's very <laughs> like he he doesn't he Eric's works like, really I wish hard. he would have like, I wish he would have lied to us for the pod. Yeah. I know. For <laughs> just, some some good information. Like, I just, mean Tell us that he grabbed your ass or something like that. Just like in the middle no. of the... Damn. I mean, there was a lot of issues on this set. Okay, like, go ahead. I like drama. Ones. No, I don't want to get sued. So you're going to wait till the movie comes out and then I'll tell you all the issues. Well, if you... Well, you already said the name of the movie, you fuck. That's fine. It's the name of the movie. Everybody's got t-shirts and the whole fucking well, city no. knows what well, movie no, it is. I was saying you could tell us what it was if you hadn't said the name of the movie. Exactly, yeah. We can just edit but it out. We could. Our guy watches the entire fucking podcast, so I'm sure he'll... Well, we're only two minutes in, so we wouldn't have to watch very much of it to get to this Okay, point. good yeah. point. <laughs> Jess, go on. Tell us what all the shit is. No, you want me don't. to... Yeah. <laughs> Eric's going to get me sued for the part. Listen. We're, we're, but when we'll it comes be... out, I will totally, totally tell you all the fucking wild shit that was going on. I think you could probably still get sued after it's out. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think the NDA typically is like, like only NDAs up to... are yeah, they're just about not talking about it during. Really? And it literally says on the call sheet like we encourage this, but wait till the movie comes out. I'm like, oh okay. We encourage what? Picture taking? This. Well, we encourage to talk about it, picture taking, videos, all of it. It was just like wait till it, the promo is released and shit. They they start they're like production will email you. When you're allowed to, to discuss it, it on your podcast, yeah, with two viewers. Yep, exactly. One of them being yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, how long are you there until? Uh, well, today's the last day. I just hopped on on the end because it was like I said, it's a shit show. So what happened was Gaffer got fired. Gaffer, I worked with, came out here last week, and then mm. the best boy got fired, and then my the, my friend the the Gaffer brought me on. He's the best. He's the best. How could he get fired if he's the best? Exactly. I don't know. But he got fired, and then my friend brought me out here. So that's what happened. And everybody's 52. Well, not 52, 728, which is electric in um, L.A. So it's an L.A. crew? Yeah, it's L.A. It's basically half local. It's like 
LA and then everybody's like from Alabama, Mississippi. Bro, who the fuck area. is just hanging out in Alabama working in film? You'd be surprised. They have a film union here. I was Honestly, shocked. Yeah, I was going to say there's like, like a lot of shit that films on location ends up being well, in like Alabama if you'd like want that vague setting. Are you near Oklahoma? Yeah. I don't think so. We were in Arkansas yesterday, so that's uh, not Oklahoma too far. is like on the other side of Texas. All right, welcome yeah. to uh, geography class on the whole for everything podcast. <laughs> well, if Eric knew like even his own fucking country, like we wouldn't have to. Do this. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's, like I, it's like I understand when people just like can't map like Europe. It's like yeah, if you don't give a shit about another like continent, that's perfectly fine. But, like yeah. the vague <laughs> understanding of where states are in the country you live in is kind of. <laughs> you might want to be able to do that. So I'm just I'm still trying to understand New York. So like it's a great... I'm going to New Orleans though, so I'm not coming back until Sunday. So my flight's Sunday. What the fuck are you doing in New Orleans? It's not far, so I'm just getting they yeah. they rented us the car, so all the department heads got a car rental. So mm-hmm. we're gonna just drive to New Orleans, chill for the weekend, and then fly back on Sunday. Sounds good. Sounds like what Eric should have done for his uh Bro, I had a great time in Texas. <laughs> I'm lucky to be alive and here, but I had a great time in Texas. Okay? Awesome. Okay. Sounds convincing. It really does. <laughs> I got a nice little tan. You could have gotten for, that tan in New Orleans. Except for my chest. Everything is kind of tan, and then it's just I have a freaking, pasty I have white. Farmers, I have farmer sunburn from like t- working in t-shirts out here. It's so mm-hmm. hot and humid fucking mosquitoes everywhere and there's things called chiggers oh i've heard of them yeah yeah and uh uh-huh and i'm like freaking out because we were in tall grass yesterday and you can't do anything you have to just wait for them to pop out yeah i'm like fuck tall grass tall grass has a decent festival i think what has a a tall grass has a decent film festival i think like it's got like a Uh, she's talking about literally tall grass i mean like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, shit. eric's walking off camera but it's not going to be filmed so <laughs> i have to describe it to you <laughs> oh my god i was so fucking i was confused i'm like what the fuck is he talking about all grass it's a film festival fuck off i don't know it's also where most bugs that are like vaguely parasitic live yeah chiggers I like that ticks. word. Parasitic. Well, there's no ticks over here, apparently, because I was like freaking out I was going to get a tick yesterday, and that's where they were like, you know how to worry about ticks out here. You got to worry about chiggers. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Same type of bug, different name. <laughs> yeah. What does it do? Well, it latches on to you and can cause potential diseases. It's like, oh, that sounds no. like a fucking tick. <laughs> no, but chiggers go in your skin. And yeah. you don't know that they're there, and that's why you gotta wait for them to pop out because they like blister, and then you gotta Yo, pop. You know, it'd be sick yeah. if we literally like saw one coming out of your face, like right now, as you were saying no. that. Just I like... thought my mosquito bite was a trigger because it was like pussing, but mm-hmm. it was not. I'd uh, quit the podcast if that happened. What if we watched <laughs> just? <laughs> yeah, if that became the type of pod we were, I'd be like, nah, this isn't this isn't it. <laughs> maybe I'll turn in. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'll turn into a superhero like Spider Man. Be like sugar woman yo speaking of spider-man <laughs> everyone's hoping for the trailer today and it didn't it didn't <laughs> didn't release They're i mean because like, i think today is wait what's uh today's spider-man day am i bugging out maybe not maybe today's, i don't know yeah there's is, like is today, there's, is hold on, it, hold on, hold is on. there an official spider-man day i think so yeah july 22nd is spider-man day officially no, no, Spider-Man Day is August 1st. Sorry. I was yeah, Jesus, you're like a whole two weeks off. Yeah. Well, there everyone's it's okay. like I literally thought we were already in August. My friend's like uh, my friend's birthday is like August 20 something, and then my other friend is July 20 something, and I'm like, "Oh, don't you have the same birthday? His birthday is next Thursday." She's like, "My birthday's in August." I'm like, "Holy shit. Totally thought it was August." Jess is out there working on a set that she's not technically hired for. <sighs> she's not getting paid. Yeah. She's missing the podcast and not getting paid. Yeah, because she's actually supposed to be out there August 20 something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they still didn't even send me my paperwork. Like, I got asked like 500 fucking times. It's annoying. Bro. So I might not get paid. 
be honest. <laughs> Hell yeah. Free Are you work. paid shit? No, I'm actually working as union. I'm working under 52, actually, because I live in New York. So, oh, so, so the pay is halfway decent. It pays very, very well. Very, yeah. very, very well. I'm making like $42 an hour or some shit. And then after eight, it's time and a half. And then anything after that is double. So uh, yesterday, my call was 11. We went to like four in the morning. So yeah. Meanwhile, Anthony just texted me last night. And he's like, bro, you want to work for the next like five days making minimum? And I'm an idiot. And of course, I said yes, because I'm off for the rest of the week. Could the you first just time. Could you rather have been like, uh, yo, can I get like slightly above minimum? <laughs> nah. No, nah, because he, he was like, as soon as he said the now, it's not Genie. I am doing a, uh, I am a grip on a couple days on a different shoot next week. But, nice. um, but, uh, no, even when he, when he dropped the number, he was like, hey, it's 210. And then in parentheses, he put, I'm sorry. So, like, there was no, <laughs> there you was know, no, I gotta, uh, I gotta tell you though, they may have not, like, they may not have decent budgets right now, but after working with a bunch of different, like, higher level producers and seeing how much of a shit show it is i i have a, a big appreciation for how good alex peace and andy Fowry are as producers no they're not watching jess you don't have to say no i know I, I know i don't have to say <laughs> these things i'm just being honest because it's funny that like they work on budgets where they gotta give you 210 and it's like these budgets are like millions of dollars and they're fucking these yeah. producers are so trash i mean a lot of the times whenever i'm working with anthony or alex they're like taking a pay cut just so that they can keep the well i don't know it depends sometimes they'll do shoots where they get like equity so they get a percentage of the movie when it's done so you're basically getting paid more than them for the time being because of overtime yeah. and shit like that so like everyone will be getting paid 250 or 210 or whatever it is but then the pas will be getting made paid more at the end of the day because they're doing overtime which is wild yeah. to think about but then i guess whenever the film comes out if it makes money then the PAs get asked out and then everyone and <laughs> splits the money that way. Yeah. Well, I guess not just the PAs either. Cause it'd be like pretty well. I, their G and E doesn't make that much money either. Like they're not paying full rate for their G and E team. No, the G and E team is probably getting paid 25, 50 bucks more than me. Yeah. I'd say their G and E team's rate is probably like two fifty. If anybody's higher, it's the key grip and the gaffer. Yeah. Which I would gladly take still. Is yeah. it just as a group? I mean, I still, I still do as G and E. It's just it like, I'd rather take the rate as G and E than have to go back to doing PA shit. You know? Basically, that's where I'm at right now. Um, like I just, but I, even I just did a, I just did a shoot for like three, four days, and it was two fifty. So the, you know, the rate wasn't bad. That's a, you know, that's a good PA rate. But the job itself, I was like, bro, I don't even want to. I don't want to do this. It was out in the sun. No. All the all the people above me didn't know what the fuck they were doing. It was just like a disaster. It was all like these really like pretty girls who just like didn't seem to ever have worked on a production before and they were just like asking for the most ridiculous shit and there's like 10 what people hanging around. And they're like, can can somebody move that garbage pail right there? And it's like literally right in front of them. And it's just like, all right, bro, like this is garbage pail. Yeah, like a they bin. Actually, called it a garbage pail. I don't think they call it a pail. <laughs> it's my thing. I call it a garbage pail. I don't like that, Eric. You gotta stop doing that. This pail. I can't say pail. <laughs> no, yeah. just say garbage. It's like the R word. I can't say it. No, I say I bin. Mean, just anything besides pail. I think. Who am I offending by saying pal? Other than you. Me. Yeah, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to recording this week, so I get to determine uh, <laughs> this goes to air. <laughs> hey, am I going to get canceled for saying pal? No. Yep. Dude, I'm going to get a t-shirt. This is garbage pal for next week. Just for you, bro. I mean, we've talked about so many cooler ideas than that, that for some reason I believe you'll actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> what do the, we have to word, get? We have to. The, the we have to get an actual. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the dumbest one. We have to get the mannequin. Like... We gotta get. Uh... I have to get the. What did wait? Neon wait, sign. pause. Pause. Eric just said mannequin instead of mannequin. Mannequin. We have to get the mannequin. We have to get the mannequin. 
I think your Mannequin. shitty, your shitty, uh, your shitty Wi-Fi is not coming through on there on your fucking <laughs> piece of shit phone. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Uh, um, you get yeah, the we... neon sign that just says Eric behind Eric whenever we uh, film live again. <laughs> Which did, could like, be next reverse... week, correct, Jess? Yeah. It could, yeah um, I'll be home on Sunday, so yeah. I do have work the 28th. I don't know what day that is, and I can't pull it up because it'll pause the meeting. But Wednesday. Wednesday, so I work on Wednesday. Yeah, so let's do Tuesday. Well, Tuesday, I don't know. If Three, Jess totally. But... Well, I'm leaving Thursday, so... <laughs> but, oh, where are you going uh, where are you going jake to have some fun <laughs> nice i want the lunch break i won in the casino <laughs> oh shit oh, we all went to the lunch break we all went to the casino for our lunch break oh shit i touched something we all went to the casino for our lunch break and most of us won which is cool i only won 12 bucks but what if fine. you guys hit the jackpot and everyone just fucking bounced on the on the so somebody did uh, the per- not who was with us so grip and electric went to the casino and went to get food together because catering's just trash so we all went to get food in the casino then we all played in the casino one of the electrics won 390 uh no sorry 690 and then the other one won like 320 i won like 12 bucks and then somebody bounced. apparently but somebody in production apparently won fucking six grand I would have bounced. I would have left. Right. I don't need to be here. And then some. And then when the the grips, like we were doing a sea biscuit, like they put the truck on the fucking other truck, and then they mm-hmm. drive. And so we had nothing to do. They went in to check out what kind of food was there. He put fucking like ten dollars in the slot and hit fifty. Like I don't know what casino this is that is so loose, but like. Yeah, find out so like- we can go there. Oh, it's it's called Islands uh, Islands of Capri, but it's just like in the middle of fucking Arkansas. Like, oh, that's why. Yeah. They're probably just know. like, cool. we need to give money away because no one's coming to fucking Arkansas. <laughs> we're Dude, closing we down. We went in there <laughs> when we were we were sitting at the blackjack table, and the lady, the dealer's like, "Oh, y'all must be working on the movie." And we're like, "What the fuck? How did you know that?" We took our <laughs> walkies off because we didn't want to get like stopped by security. Because uh, you're the only people who came there who aren't regulars, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you don't look like... like the typical uh, Mississippian. She was in Arkansas. Whatever, bro. Yeah. Let's... She, just, she just said it. Like, I got it. <laughs> and welcome to the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eric. I can't wait to Whatever. replace you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried sending the link to a couple people to replace me, but nobody's <laughs> nobody's nobody's biting here. Nobody's down. I got one more person. I'll send it to. <laughs> one week, I am um, just going to record like an, an episode, episode without me. Yeah, well, with Dakota specifically. Oh my! That would be <laughs> that would actually be really funny. You see, I would go knock on people's doors right now, get them to come on the pod, but uh, I think everybody's still asleep. Too. Yeah, I when you I said there was a there time before. difference, I was like, "What are you talking about? What part?" You know, of the everybody said that. Do? Everybody you said that to ridiculous. me, and I'm like, I keep forgetting too. But everybody said that to me. They're like, "There's no time difference. You're just like Florida. Don't have a time difference." I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm over more." Yeah, Florida is also coastal. Like Tennessee has a time difference. Once again, why does no one understand any geography? Like, because we didn't go to the <laughs> we didn't go to school. Nobody taught us this in school, Jake. This Apparently is like they sixth taught us grade Jake. shit. Like okay. <laughs> they're not teaching us about MLK anymore, and they're not teaching us about geography. Well, that's just Texas. So what am I on? Am I on like Mountain Time or Central? Like there's only three time. Like there's Pacific, Eastern, and then Central, right? So like, would I be on Central? Uh yeah, Central's the next over. That's why, like, if you're watching TV, it, like occasionally it'll be like it says, it's on nine, like, ten, ten, Central. nine Central. Yeah. yeah. So it's like. Yeah, that's basically the yeah, next one over. I never understood Central. What's Central? Explain that. Uh, the middle of the he country. He just did. Sick. Amazing. <laughs> Done. That's all I needed. Well, Who how come? Fuck? Also, you know what? I, I want to know why do they call it Midwest and Midwest? Because it's not really the Midwest. Like some of it's in the East. Yeah, I mean Ohio is right next yeah. to Pennsylvania, but uh, and. I mean, it's, I think, because of just when it was found. 
like or not found mm-hmm. but like when it was like part of the country so okay, that makes you sense. know we kept going westwards so at one point it was the middle of the country and it just no longer is but the name stuck around i don't know if that's like officially it but that in my head is why you would call it that yeah that would make sense yeah jake's jake's giving us a, a geography lesson this is, this is, the this is just what i of, uh... this is just what i do for this podcast when I talk whenever, about whenever. Eric, and then I explain things that have nothing to do with film. Jake's, <laughs> whenever we, Jake's the brains. <laughs> whenever we don't have any topics to discuss, Jake's just there to bring up some uh, political shit. I'd I never think, bring up I, the political shit. I, know, I just I always have to explain would, to you why what you're saying is not a good idea. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do think, though, like, whenever, like, when people start actually watching the podcast, like, that, that after episode could actually be like something interesting to do where we just bullshit is this not interesting no no eric's boring eric (laughs) eric spent uh 45 minutes making a list that we're not referencing right (laughs) okay we're gonna reference it right now okay okay hold on hold on okay okay we're referencing it right now are we yeah they just announced that leslie grace is going to be Batgirl in the Batgirl movie, and everyone is fucking pissed. And why, why are they pissed, Jake? Because she's black. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know if she's Grace. actually black. Exactly. I'm just going to Google that real quick. Google it. You know what you can do, Jake? You know, you know what to do. Throw it on that share screen for the people. No. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Afro-Latina. Afro-Latina. What are your thoughts? You hate it? You racist fuck? No, I think it works. I don't care. Like, damn, we need some. We need some. Uh, we need some. Uh... <laughs> Eric's like, I need to hire that guy that yeah. uh, made fun of Asian people that got fired from SNL. There we go. <laughs> we need to. We need to hire some people that uh, are not in the echo chamber. You know what I mean? In the echo chamber. So we need to hire people that apparently have a problem <laughs> with fictional characters not being white. Yes. It bother, yeah, it really bothers me that people care so much. Like, who fucking gives a shit? Why is it a big deal? Well, but bro, the, the but original. Bro. <laughs> In 1945, when the comic first came out, <laughs> the, he the, was white. You can't I, change it. <laughs> I, I think the uh, originally though like one of the arguments was because they like a couple of days before they announced who was going to play Batgirl there was like a short list of them and it was her and it was like two or three others who were you know it was a mix so some were white some were Afro whatever uh, um, and then but somebody made a good point that she's Commissioner Gordon's daughter and in the Batman with um, Robert Pattinson. With, with Robert Pattinson, Commissioner Gordon is a black guy, so it would be kind of awkward if they got some white girl to play. Well, Batgirl. okay. But also, they're not a white girl connected. A white yeah. girl? I thought you just said he was white. No, he no. That's your bad phone internet bullshit. <laughs> Eric just said Commissioner Gordon is black in this film, so it'd be awkward if they hired a white girl. I don't, I don't know if my girl. phone's to blame for that, or if. Uh... Well, I heard Eric this time. Uh, um, yeah, I think I think it might just be me who's to blame for that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, that would I guess if you if your idea of a family is like purely like oh it must be one hundred percent biological family, mm-hmm. like yeah, why couldn't Commissioner Gordon adopt someone? But it doesn't matter anyway because once again, it's fiction. Who gives a right. fuck if they're good at the part? Mm-hmm. What's the problem? I actually, I actually kind of respect them for giving, um, for not pigeonholing a race. Like they didn't, yeah. like you said, they were looking at white people. They were looking at black people. Like that's actually how it should be. It shouldn't be like seeking white, unless yeah. it was like specific, you know. Well, once again, talking about like uh, historical films about like real people, yeah, you should probably try and get close to that. But yeah, once we're talking about a comic book, like, I'm gonna play exactly. Martin Luther King. Eric, you'd have to become an actor first. Somebody played him, didn't they? Wasn't that like a really good movie? At one point, it was like Oscar nominated. It was. Nobody's nobody's gonna play him like I'm gonna play him. Uh, mm-hmm. 
you sh- are you thinking of Malcolm X? It, I think it, Denzel. I think played Malcolm X. In a I don't Spike know if it was Lee Denzel movie. though. That was it nominated wasn't... for Oscars and shit a while ago. At this no, point, no, I think it. No, I think it was. I think it was Martin Luther King. I think it was because it wasn't Denzel. It was. Oh, we're talking else. about Selma. Is, oh yeah, that might be yeah. it. That might be it. Yeah, because that came out like a few years ago. I yeah, it's definitely it older. Off the top of my head, but. But they're yeah. good. I don't whoever it was. Well, apparently Eric's trying to replace what? him. Look it up. Oh, I'm gonna kill it. Oh. I'm gonna absolutely kill it. Um, I think you can play the guy. Well, no, you can't actually. Never mind. I was gonna say you can play the guy that shot uh, Bobby Kennedy, but no, you probably can't. This has gone too Eric far. Would, Eric, Eric would play a, a good John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric's like who's that? <laughs> is, he, is he is he a sexy man? Yeah, totally. Um. Anyway, so you get, you'll get mad love down south. <laughs> <laughs> I think back is it Bat Woman or Bat Girl on the TV show that is also played by a black girl now? Oh, I don't know. I no. don't watch the Bat Girl TV no. too much. It's Bat Woman. Bat Girl. Whatever is Batwoman and Batgirl the same situation as Supergirl no. and Superwoman? No. Oh, two, two so different. they're both the same person. No, they're two different people. So it is the same situation as Supergirl and Wonder Woman. I said Superwoman, but yeah. it's Wonder said, Woman. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. They are two different people. <laughs> with... <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't talk about comics. <laughs> okay, I mean we're not really the whole. I mean I was just talking about a casting and everyone being upset over it, but. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I haven't really seen anybody that upset over it. I think everyone's <laughs> just, just like being inflammatory. I think, well, I think like once you do it so much, like the people that do get upset about shit like that, they just get tired of being upset over it. And they're just like, all right, bro, I don't even care anymore. They're just like, I'm over it. Well, they shouldn't care in the first place. No, I know. But... Yeah. Remember when people fucking lost their minds over like Black Ariel? And it was like, bro, it's a mermaid. Like, yeah. Remember when that movie just like People never fucking pissed. came out? Yeah. It, it, <laughs> it didn't, like right? I always ago. wanted it never did, right? But I mean but, that, all, but those yeah. those those girls are stars now. So like she you know, who the fuck knows if they're even paying her what she deserves. She probably not even I don't even know if she's gonna do it unless she did it already. But she's a huge they they she's a huge star, that girl. Who uh, you can't name off the top of your that head. That I can't huge name off the top star. of my head. Yeah, she's huge, so huge fucking star. She's Nailing huge. it. A-lister. A-lister. <laughs> well, it's her and her sister. I know, like, her and her sister are, like, Oh, is it, deal. like, the Halle X yeah, 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 yeah. whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was them? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, he's um, right. They are big. They are big. But they weren't they as big, big when they casted her. So now I wonder, like, did they just hit the fucking jackpot? And now they got yes. this girl for cheap. And if they she's... If they release it. If they yeah. release it, they did. People love those girls. Yeah. I don't know much about um, them. All right. So last thoughts on uh, that woman, that girl, that girl, that person, that person. That's what somebody said. <laughs> they were like, are we allowed to call her Batgirl? girl? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the character's name. Yeah. <laughs> People make such simple shit so complicated <laughs> yeah really that's like when people go like people are like pronouns are so difficult it's like they're not eric i'm looking at you <laughs> we're running out we're running out of time fellows i never i never said all right we'll, we'll go we'll start on the next topic but i never said pronouns were uh <laughs> you know I, they are but i never said that they <laughs> well you just now have i don't i got you buddy Eric flipped um, off the camera for the people who aren't able to see him because we don't have switchable angles like that. So uh, <laughs> you have to say something for that to work. Yeah, Eric's like doing all these gestures and shit off that camera. Off, you can yeah. only see in like a very small box. Yeah, that I can see. No, you can't. You, it's not even a small box. I don't think. I think you're just getting the full screen of whoever talked recently and you silently flipping them off. That's entertaining. No, it's not. <sighs> okay, <laughs> Leslie Grace, she's no, done. She's just... that girl. We're over it. She's yeah. done. We're finished. She's attractive. Um, I think it's a good idea. Only I think it's Eric a good idea because only thinks it's a good idea because she's attractive. Because she's attractive. <laughs> That's it. If she was ugly, fuck that. Get rid of her. <laughs> out of here. 
Um, because like DC's doing this whole thing where like everything is separate now. They're not even doing a universe anymore. They're just like, yo, this is this person's getting a movie. This person's getting a movie. It's that's because they can't compete with Marvel. That's also yes. wasn't so that over. like straight up what we said they should do in like mm-hmm. the second yeah. episode of this whole podcast. Now they're doing it. Yep. We need credit. Need yep. fucking yeah. They listen to us. Five percent. They should pay us. Five percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking that's for too 50, little, buddy. Why not? Damn, that's oh, fucking d- add a, add then a we got to split that three ways. Oh, but five percent split three ways that wouldn't be that well. <laughs> yes, it turns out. Yeah, Let's go for fifty. Oh the larger God. number 50, baby. splits Jake, better. <laughs> Jake, Eric needs you to teach him math as well. I can't do it. He needs to learn too many things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a lost cause. All right, congratulations, Leslie Grace. Go fuck yourself. Space Jam too. <gasps> um, let's. I didn't start see space. it yet. Let's I didn't see it either. I heard it was. Two. I heard it was absolute trash. Though. Let's That's start Space really Jam want. two after the time break. How about that? Well, let's do that. How long are we going to talk about this movie that we haven't seen? What are you talking about Space Jam. Oh yeah, Space Jam. We're all, we none of. I'm assuming none of us saw it, but I heard it was terrible. Just outside. Yeah, reviews. I heard it's. I heard it sucked too. Um, I guess we could just talk about let's assume it does suck, which it probably does. Um, I mean, it's probably trash because uh-huh. the concept is trash. Right. Like, I heard LeBron was there for two days, too, two or three days or some shit. What? I That's mean, it's I like heard. 90% green screen. Like, mm. Yeah. And then, like, I think a lot of, I think a good portion of it, he's also animated. But, like, uh, it's just... It's a cash grab movie, and even the first one was a cash grab movie. Right. Yeah, They're but the first both... one's iconic. It's but is only it... iconic via nostalgia. Like, right. it's not I a love good. Space Jam. I don't it's love not Jam. a good movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> objectively line? speaking, yeah, it's trash. <laughs> yeah, plotline is trash, but like, it's, it's a good just movie. because <laughs> it came out when you were a kid. Like, <laughs> it's not said, a good movie. <laughs> I, I I saw something like. <laughs> I saw something on Twitter. It was like, you guys are complaining about Space Jam 2 as if Michael Jordan was Denzel Washington in the first one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my God. But also, like, not like Michael doesn't do a bad job for being a guy that was never in anything before uh, or yeah. since, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's that's not a thing that I'll, like, you know, it, it's athletes acting. Yeah. And the only one who seemingly knows what he's supposed to do is the smallest part in Charles Barkley. But, like... <laughs> It Charles is... Barkley was the, that's that's why I love the movie like Charles Barkley's in it if 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 LeBron for was like Charles Barkley five minutes <laughs> Charles Barkley is in it to <laughs> for that therapy scene and then he, he his, sells it he sells no, the whole he's movie he's one of the ones he's one of the ones who got his powers taken away Jake yeah I'm I remember and then it's a cartoon that's not even voiced from by him for the rest of the movie <laughs> he's in it for the very beginning. <laughs> Has Damn, like three did. lines, and then he's in at the end where Michael Jordan's like, "Touch this basketball!" Like, yeah, touch the ball. How do you not think that this movie? Is- it's <laughs> a trash Jam is movie. Iconic. Space Jam's iconic. It's all it's nostalgia. It's like Just it's like um, it's pure nostalgia. It's, it's not like, a good movie. <laughs> it's like Batman <laughs> Returns. Was that the one with um, with the Riddler? Yeah, I think so. Like with, in my uh, head, the Riddler and uh, Two Face, Two Face, yeah. Like in my head, that's iconic and it's amazing. But when you look back, well, it's, at got, it, it's like one of the worst movies what ever. It, what it does do is also similar to Space Jam. What that one did right is it had um, one song in it that was just fucking great. Yeah, had uh, if Eric could just stop doing that for a moment, but like yeah. <laughs> it's like kiss. Baby! I'm going to end this podcast so fast. <laughs> You're a terrible singer. And then you got closer to the mic and louder, which is like the opposite of what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Baby. But, uh, he a, I heard yeah, that. He pulled kiss, it away and did it. Yeah. It, kiss from a Rose is fucking great. And then Space Jam had I Believe I Can Fly. They just like put two really like emotional songs in and that's mostly what people think about when they go backwards and actually like remember the movie is it's all set to r kelly it's not really like oh remember that scene where bill murray just shows up and he literally says like i'm here yes. via plot hole like they golf. thank yeah, you r kelly that's the thing 
I think Space Jam knew it was self-aware. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I it's think it was. It's a pure cash grab. I think Space yeah, Jam was you- like, you know what's big? Fucking Michael Jordan and Looney Tunes. And I bet we can get a bunch of money from stupid children if we put them in one movie together. That's children. all it is. I'm stupid children too. I love that movie. I <laughs> still love that movie and I'll stand by it forever and ever and ever. I mean, it's I can like, still sit down and watch the shit out of Space Jam. Then do it. I will, but not <laughs> when now. When was the last time you did it? I actually watched Space Jam not too long ago, so joke's on you. Not too long ago. So specific. It's so probably, specific. Well, because my time <laughs> frame she was, so she was eight years old. Not since this because, podcast no, have you watched it for certain. <laughs> because it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't July because I was away. But I don't think you watched it, was it this June. year. I, I think it was before June. Yeah, I watched it this year. It was on Netflix. Why? Oh wow! And you just had the audacity to not bring that up <laughs> until Space it was, was like <laughs> Space Jam. To me, is like Disney movies. Like you know how people could like sit there and watch like fucking The Little Mermaid. I've like over a hundred times. A movie that's, with that's like an Space actual Jam. plot and build I mean, up. I could, I could, I could watch the Mighty Ducks over and over again. And I don't think Ooh, any, Mighty, I Mighty Ducks. Yeah, no, that. I like Mighty Ducks. Mighty Ducks is a Mighty better Ducks. movie I than love Space Jam. Mighty Ducks. There's also uh, Heavyweights. Mighty Ducks. Oh, oh Heavyweights is a the Heavyweights is a good one too, Eric. <laughs> is that the one oh we're at? The, is that the the Fat Camp one? Yeah, yeah that's Sack okay. Camp one. Well, I just I don't a lot of the Disney movies like that were like. Um, Disney Channel movies. Oh, oh, what? I didn't no, see. that wasn't a Disney Channel. Heavyweights wasn't was a Disney that? Channel movie. I think that went straight to. It could have been Disney, but it wasn't no, on Disney Channel. It wasn't. Well, it wasn't Disney in because it was Ben though. Stiller. It no, no, no. I, I think it was because Ben Stiller it was. was? Lead. Yeah. yeah, but Ben, there was a point where Ben Stiller wasn't like the bookable, like lead that we know him as today. Yeah, I don't know. That movie was. Well, but I think get, about I, like it's possible. But I always thought it definitely it was... came out before uh, Mystery Men, which was like I Heavy think it's old. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It came out before that, and yeah. that, I think that was during the era where Ben Stiller was like not, just not the guy. Like he was the same yeah. era where he was like the fourth character in, in an Adam Sandler movie. Like Ben Stiller wasn't Friends. He was. Could have swore he, he was. Yeah, no, he was the he angry was, guy, right? He was in one episode. It was. Oh yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> I was gonna say. Like, was like in Friends, guys. yeah. <laughs> no, he was. He was one of the leading friends. <laughs> yeah. He was. Uh, Ross's, been, uh, Ross's been amazing. brother. Yeah. Um. All right. So basically, does uh the new Space Jam warrant the hate that it's receiving? <laughs> no hate. I, th- I mean. I it's think what stupid. it is is a bunch of like thirty, like twenty-eight to thirty-eight year olds, being like, "This doesn't give, like, this isn't the Space Jam that came out when I was yeah. eight. It was like, yeah, no shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think if you're like on, a like child, I... and it's pr- it's probably enjoyable if you're a child that just wants to watch something goofy for like an hour and twenty. But right. if you're or like if you're an like... adult coming into a new se- setting, being like, oh, I really need to see, compare this to when I was eight. Like, yeah, I mean, no, I, Jake, you're spot it's not on. the same you're viewing so experience. Like, I still, I still would like to watch it just for the sake of like watching how ridiculous it probably. We're we gonna is. watch it on the pod. Well, probably. we say we're gonna watch a lot of shit on the pod, yeah. and then we never and do. Then, and then just goes to work <laughs> for seven days, and then not, nobody watches anything. <laughs> Listen, I'm busy. Okay, you're right. I did watch. I watched the last part of Fear Street. I know none of us watched it, but. Whatever. Somebody asked us to review that, so I guess we could at some point. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> that's that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I don't listen to the to outside people voices. The... Yeah. <laughs> we shoo those. I make away. the art that I want to make. <laughs> I don't do it for the fans. And if we want to talk about Gabby Hanna instead of reviewing movies on this movie tv podcast and that's you know exactly her, what we're gonna do you yeah. know somebody leaked all her shit recently like nudes no like all her Put twitter up, drafts Jake. and shit <laughs> all her twitter drafts and shit her twitter drafts so things yeah. that she typed but didn't send it's a weird place to store drafts. and she and did notes. and like yeah. but also her notes like her actual notes in her phone like people actually leaked it she does sound like she's having a mental breakdown so See, she's the victim. Uh, All right. 
she's not the victim being Uh, being mentally ill does not warrant being being mentally ill does not does not give you a right to be an asshole yeah but like all she wanted was gabby hannah is i don't really understand it she she's the second coming of christ and we (laughs) need to appreciate that exactly (laughs) exactly (laughs) all she wanted was a decent meal she wanted to go home on time I don't see what the problem is. People don't know what they're talking about. All she wants to do is find acceptance in our hearts and lead us to the kingdom of heaven. And we just can't do that, apparently, as a society. <laughs> I haven't figured out if Jake is trolling because he's attracted to her or because she brings us views. I, 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 think I, texted, I don't think he cares about views. Yeah, me. I think I texted straight up. Uh, to the group chat when Jess went off on it because she wasn't on for the Gabby Hanna thing. I think she had a big rant in our group chat and then I just, just decided there. It's like, you know what? Now I support Gabby Hanna. Yeah. Oh, there was like, no, okay. was just it's like, way more about generating part. controversy. I don't know nothing about <laughs> Gabby Hanna besides like two lines I can basic, I can barely remember. I do know <laughs> that she's a victim and that's all there is to it. <laughs> Oh my uh, gosh! No, you know what? Right. I hope she finds that clip because you're the one person who would say it, and she would be like, she would use it in her videos. And if she does, we get good traction. So well, good now job, you Eric. ruined it, yeah, because well, you immediately right, followed but... that with that rant. Now she's gonna be like, oh, okay, well, I'm not gonna link to the podcast where she one just, person she could, just she could vehemently cut hates it. me. All right, well she now, it. now that <laughs> just so we can clip it, I guess now it wasn't the plan. It's not on the list, but <laughs> since we brought it up, tell us what what did the what did the notes say and whatever. No, they were just like weird. I can't. I don't remember for like verbatim, but they were just very like. If you, it, I can't explain it. I can't explain it without like because I don't. She was definitely having a mental breakdown in the notes, and she was uh-huh. more like admitting to shit that she was doing in the notes and being like i don't know why people do this and blah blah, blah. and then there was just like crazy rants in there that like admitting to what though? have you have you ever been high like, you no know, like admitting to all the shit that she's done <laughs> but have you have you um have you ever been in, been high on like uppers and you know, just like start like you get you start talking a lot no that's really what it sounded like well it sounded edibles, like that though Wait, can I say that on YouTube? These are not edibles. Yeah. These are nerds. You can, you can. They're legal in New York. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, she, uh, she, but her. Some of them were like, they, they were just weird. They were just, they were just like. It sounded like that's what she. She took a lot of uppers and she was like not focused because she would start the note and then it would go into other things. And it was we're like, gonna it title was, this. Gabby Hanna needs help. Yeah, I mean she does. <laughs> that's fair enough. Let's. I'm gonna let's, get let's Gabby look her for next t-shirts. week. Yeah. Okay. At this point, what else we got on the list? We're the only option. That she has. Hannah, what else? What's also um, on the list, Eric? Okay, I'm gonna Consult. skip around. Let's go. All right, HBO. This is kind of cool. Kind of a cool story. I never heard this before ever. HBO paid it's a channel James Gandolfini three million dollars. So that he wouldn't be the person who took over for Steve Carell when Steve Carell left the office. Oh, that's like a month shit. old news. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't know though. I'm gonna go fuck myself then, Jake. Uh, I don't. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, I remember reading it like a while ago and thinking, "Oh, that's interesting." It came out like roughly at the same time as like the. <laughs> I love how you the trailers. <laughs> I love how you read it. Decided <laughs> that it was interesting. <laughs> Did not think to throw it on the, on the list when it happened. I only, I'm only there to delete the list. <laughs> Dude, when you were doing that, I was like, oh, God. Wait, he was, de- you deleted the list? It, well, he was like, as I was, as I was like adding shit, Jake just kept deleting it. As I was, and I'm shit, like, I wish I would have saw that. And I just kept typing, fuck you, Jake, I hate you, because <laughs> it just kept disappearing. Because I was like, writing all these fucking uh, trailers that we were going to go over on this episode. <laughs> LOL. You literally wrote Shit. the word clickbait. And well, that's, that's the name. where I started to decide to delete. <laughs> that's the name of the show or the movie or whatever the fuck it is that we were, that whatever. We're probably not going to review any of these fucking trailers anyway. I don't know, even know why I did it. 
actually if we're gonna review well no the uh, well the dune trailer came out we were talking about it last week i didn't I watch think, it and i also think we'll be more organized when we're in person again yeah i think we're just on willy-nilly on zoom tuesday tuesday if tuesday do tuesday can you edit by thursday though on tuesday that's, that's the yeah problem. Yeah, because Wednesday I'll have work, but I could, I told you, Zoom, well, no, we're going to be in person, okay. I will, Cause so Thursday, if we do old Tuesday rule... early, yeah, we have to do Tuesday early, and then I'll be able to do it, because yeah, I do have work on Wednesday. That's the problem, you have work on Wednesday. Yeah, or I know, Monday? but I could, I, don't, I can do Monday as well. I can, I can do Monday, too. Anyways, all right, so I guess we're not talking about James Gandolfini, because whatever. Well, no, yeah, go ahead, James Gandolfini, what's up, $3 million. That's a lot of money. He's dead now, so I mean, was he on Sopranos and they were trying to steal steal him? No, I think they just uh, didn't want because I don't think there would have been like that big of a thing besides just like uh, work minor work conflict and maybe just like they wanted him to just be known as that character while that was airing. The Sopranos was airing at the same time as The Office. The very end of it, I think. Really, I don't know. I might not. I might be wrong about that because I didn't really give a shit about the office. Yeah, but I know yeah. it went on for a long time, and so I think some of the early because like we're talking about all we're also talking about casting, right? Like so, this is before they had Steve Carell playing that character. So we're talking about like pre. No, this is no. This is um, he 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 wasn't no. This is. This is before. This is before Steve. So Steve Carell. No, this was. I mean, as far as what I read, what I understood was Steve Carell left the show, and they wanted James to take over. So HBO paid James not to take over for Steve Carell. Not oh, all right. Not so that. The... Not that James was going to be the the lead for the whole show. Yeah. But that. But he still, was... that's kind of normal though. The Sopranos was a huge thing, and they didn't want anybody up in their cookie jar. No, I get that. I think I'm just trying to figure out. The end of the office was on at the same time. No, as that, Sopranos. no, that I, sounds I, I, odd. Misunderstood, I misunderstood the timeline, is what that is, because that's okay. not true. Okay, that's absolutely not true. I All thought right. it was a pre production thing. Yeah, I mean, that is, I mean, that's cool either way. I don't know why they chose him, but maybe it would have been funny, but he probably would have just played like I, I heard, I don't know where I heard this, but I heard he's actually like good in comedy. I mean, not nice. anymore. Well, it was sorry. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made that joke too. I was like, when Eric was talking about that, he got three million dollars. I'm like, well, he's dead now. So yeah, <laughs> who cares? Who got the three mil? Who, who did it go to? I'm sure his son. Damn. Or his wife. I don't know how that works. You write it down, and yeah. then legally it goes places with minor taxes on it. There goes Jake explaining life to us. Yeah, we I, I didn't think him? I'd have to explain last will and testament on the podcast, but you know. Well, here we are. <laughs> I think Let's I got talk about the inheritance tax. <laughs> Let's talk about what? The inheritance tax. <laughs> yeah. So how's that work, Jake? Explain. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just did, but... <laughs> um, you die, I... and some of your property goes to the government. <laughs> Not property, but like wealth, general wealth tax, basically. Well, rest in peace, James Gadolfini. It's been... A while legend. now, but it's been a know. while. I don't know why we're talking about him now, but absolute legend, mate. Legend. Okay. Uh, Jess will like this because she keeps talking about it, and I keep ignoring it because I don't care. But we're just going to talk about this because Wes Anderson has a new movie. Ah. Only reason I'm bringing it up is because they just casted two people, and I figured you could talk about it because I don't know anything about this movie. But they. I don't know not, nothing about the movie either. It's kind of uh, there's right. no. Uh... There's no plot points being released. Well, they just casted Bill Murray and they casted oh, sweet. Tilda Swinton. So, oh, like, sweet. Did they even need to announce that they casted Bill Murray? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, because... in a Wes Anderson film? He's <laughs> in he's all of them. In... Is he? <laughs> Bill Murray? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, Bill he is, Murray right. is in like every single one. He's often yeah. the lead. Like... Well, he's in this, Jake. Okay, they needed to announce it. They needed to let us know. <laughs> By the way, the guy you expected to see is going to be there. 
That's like uh, I wasn't, I, that's like I, an I Adam brain. Sandler movie, and they announced that like Kevin James and uh, <laughs> all these other dudes are going to be in what? it. Guess what? David Spade's in this one. <laughs> no fucking. I way. just I just brain farted and uh, and swapped Bill Murray with the the other the other Ghostbuster David whatever his name is. Bill Murray's from Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, but Dave she's Ackroy. Th- yeah, that was yeah. trying to think Dan like Ackroy. which one would Dave Ackroy. Dan. Dan, it's Dan. Oh, my fault. So yeah, I swapped his for two seconds. I swapped his face, his, their faces, <laughs> and their names. And then I was like, "Oh shit, you're right." <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Bill Murray has been. <laughs> Wait, since so there's the no beginning. plot point for this movie at all? I don't. I doubt that. Not really. I doubt so. it. I, mean, I doubt it. Like, I'm gonna waste. The I mean, next I don't three know. minutes looking up shit. I doubt it. If I've they're in been... the point where they're still announcing that Bill Murray's a part of it, I don't even think Wes Anderson's written a movie yet. <laughs> I think he like this. He went up to a studio and was like, "Hey, I'm, I'll make something," and they're like, "Great, we'll give you money." Yeah, they're filming in Spain. That's all I know. But then again, Adrian Brody is also joining the cast. You're welcome. Adrian Brody? Nobody? The pianist? I know who he is. It's just like... Nobody cares. Yeah, go on. Uh, Brody's more than that. Okay, all right. Is there even a title for this fucking movie? Like, what is it? It's... He hasn't even written it yet. He went to the The David O'Russell one's even harder to find info on, and they filmed that shit already. He went to a studio and said, I want to film in Spain. And they're like, great. Let's do it. Yeah, that's all it is. That's because it's Wes Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the guy knows how to, like, I like his movies. I don't think he knows much about making them. No, I don't think so either. But he's very, um. He's he's very much as like, he looks, it's like if a, like art, like a production designer became a director. Yeah, but I like his style. Like I, oh really no, I, I like I say I like his movies. Yeah, it's just like I, I get the feeling that he doesn't know how to write a script. I, I, I disagree there because I think his movies are all about like, and that's that's why it's kind of cohesive. Like that's why his um his sets look like that because if you take notice, most of his movies, the people are kind of chaotic, which is why it's a contrast to making the movie look perfect. To kind of show you, like that people are crazy, you know. Like it's like a front. It's like, it's like, it's like people want to look perfect on the outside, but they're actually super, super chaotic on the inside. I'm perfect inside and out. Yeah, no, you're not. Except for your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's like, all right. I only post it to fucking Instagram every fucking day. <laughs> every day, and my teeth look exactly the same. I think I'm getting Well, you're screwed. only on fucking thing I'm 19 out of 87. I'm at 16 at 39. This shit looks the same, boss. What you're not even doing? halfway through. You're right. What is he doing? I don't even know what he's doing. In the Disney line. Are you... uh, it's uh, like multiple layers of squishing your mouth into a position. Yeah, it's kind of wild. Um... Yeah, my it's it's now working on my front teeth. Obviously, the most fucked up part, and it's just it's destroying me. It it pains me. I I had to take them out for the podcast because I'm dying. Um, this and, is why it's not working. No, no, no. I I honestly I never take. I know, lol, haha. But um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I I I honestly never take them out. Set. I never take them out. Everyone's like, dude, you want to eat? Just go get some snacks. I'm like, dude, I can't. Like, I, I hate when like. You know, there's actual crafty there, and they're like, "Oh, we just made this thing in the middle of the day." And I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Because um, I can never actually just like go to the side and just, you know, it's like a whole thing. Plus, I don't want to take it out in front of people; it's disgusting. Eric, do you remember Nadej? No, they're are they alive? <laughs> no, 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 the crafty girl. Because you mentioned crafty, and I was like, "Oh, the kick-ass crafty girl that was on Study Abroad." Oh yeah, who yeah. Who would yeah, always yeah, like yeah, make yeah, snacks yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. I've I haven't been on set. Me neither. I saw her on one other movie, like right after Study Abroad, mm-hmm. and then I never saw her again. But her yeah. crafty was fucking bomb. I don't know if they still like doing it. Either that, either they don't do anything anymore, or they like moved on up to better things. I think they moved up because I I follow her on Instagram. Yeah, I always told her to do crafty and um like actual lunch. Like they should be our lunch people. Also, they said that's yeah. what they were plan was. Um. Uh. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I just got. I just like you were like, oh, good crafty, and I'm like, shout out to I miss, I miss, I miss her crafty. Um, how much time do we have? Like two I minutes. 
fucking dick. Are you being serious? Yeah. What time is it? It's what the uh fuck is that? Oh. It's one o'clock exactly. Okay, we got a couple things that we could talk about. We could either talk about Dwayne Johnson talking shit about Vin Diesel saying he's never gonna be on another Fast and Furious movie, or we That's could talk exciting. about Okay. Thoughts? Well, that's wild. I can't even believe that that's okay. <laughs> what that they don't like each other. It's like the weirdest. It's just funny. It's like the weirdest beef ever. The Rock versus Vin Diesel. First, I thought it was fake, but then like, what did he? Uh, he just said something. He's like, "I'm never gonna come back." And then, you know what? He should just do another Hobbs and Shaw. Dude, that's. I mean, honestly, Vin Diesel's not even in that shit. So yeah but that would make me kind of salty too like it kind of looks like the rock is being a dick in that situation but also like what's he gonna do say no to a kajillion dollars uh he doesn't need to say yes to a kajillion dollars he's That's not in our point. position you got a good point Fuck he's the literally rock, the highest saying. earning actor of like the past Wait, what but didn't Dude, the rock isn't do... that wild didn't the rock do tooth fairy yeah yeah or, probably. that was the rock right yeah, yeah. oh my god yo but isn't and that Vin diesel was it Vin Diesel did like the pacifier or something? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> but, like as as a wrestling fan, like The Rock's career is just wild to me because like I started watching when he was about to leave, and when he was leaving, everyone was like, bro, like they would just boo him because they thought it was fucking stupid that he was going to Hollywood and all this other shit. Like, bro, just stop. And then like he would make all these really shitty movies, and he was kind of proving us right for a little bit. And then I don't know what happened, but. Like he, he still just... makes shitty movies. Oh yeah, no, yeah, constantly. But, but like, his yeah. but his drawing power is legitimate where it doesn't matter because no matter what. Yeah, but he's, he's in... never. Can you name one good movie he's been in? Even the new Fast and the Furious I heard was absolute trash. Um... I mean, I haven't seen it yet because I have to make my way through all of them before I do it. But <laughs> I haven't seen it either. But people on Twitter is, are like, uh... "Don't waste your money." He's been in other Fast and Furious movies and Hobbs and Shaw. So. Yeah, he 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 was in he was in the <laughs> the one before Hobbs and Shaw. It was was a was a good Fast and Furious. I don't know about the new one. Well, he wasn't in it, but um, I just think Fast and the Furious is too played out now. Like three, like you know, after uh, well, Tokyo Drift, it should have been enough. I mean, no, speaking because of, the speaking best of one is Fast Five. <laughs> I don't think so. It really is. Speaking of like films that like are, well, I, I forgot what you said before about Space Jam. It's uh, self aware. Nostalgic. No, no, self-aware. no. Self aware. Yeah. Like, like, Fast and Furious knows that it's ridiculous. Like yeah. They, now they figured just it like... out after, like, I think after they made two and two was, like, not fun. Uh huh. They figured, they're like, they made three, like, Tokyo Drift in three and were like, oh, this is kind of what we should be doing. Like, yeah. see, I was going to say, like, Fast and the Furious would have been kick ass if they just left it alone on the first one. It's no, still kick ass, but it's so I, much I think... better now. <laughs> no, no, I it is. Think, it's I mean, so it's, it's so like, dumb. It is it's, like just it's like, objectively a dumb movie, but it's it like is Mission Impossible. Fun. Like Mission Impossible, you just like they're just gonna be outrageous with shit. But I just don't. And you're not gonna care. I, I don't think I've seen a Mission Impossible since like the second one. It's like James Bond, but better. Well, like James I know Bond. What, I know what Mission Impossible is. It's just I'm. I'm thinking I'll watch like all the Fast and Furious shit because it's outrageous in a way. Uh-huh. I think that's why because it's just it knows it's not trying to be anything besides like blatantly no. absurd for, like yeah. all the time. And then Mission Impossible sometimes once you believe in it, like right. sometimes yeah. they ask you like take us seriously for this moment. It's like yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. watching like a 58 year old Tom Cruise jump out of a helicopter. I'm not taking that seriously. Well, that's what I think about like Fast and the Furious. If you're not taking the movie seriously, it's different. But I think as a, as a movie, like the first one could have been fine to stand alone, and it would have been a good movie, and people would still be talking about it. Oh, I don't think that's true at all. I think it would have yeah, been forgotten. Yeah, so I, it would have been it would have been a flash in the pan. Yeah. I don't think Vin Diesel would be who he is now. Like it's just. <sighs> Yeah, Paul Walker too. Okay. Yeah, like I think I don't think I don't think Vin Diesel would be fucking Groot. I think some other Joe Schmo would be Groot. Like The Rock would be Groot. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised. I, mean, I think honestly, The Rock's career probably. Do- it. I mean, it's great that he was in the movies, but I think his career relatively stays unchanged, with or without being in Fast and Furious. Oh yeah, I mean he that that didn't help his career at all. I think yeah, if anything, it, it boosted Fast and the Furious, like. It, it, it revitalized. The Rock did kind of copy Vin Diesel, though. 
I mean, The Rock's been The Rock before Vin Diesel was Vin yeah. Diesel. The Rock, The Rock was a wrestler, though. Vin Diesel was an actor, and then their career. Right. Look at their career. Like I literally just said, like, wasn't wasn't oh. Vin Diesel in The Pacifier, and then The Rock did fucking Tooth Fairy. Yeah, but like they're they're think... literally using each other's career model. Yeah, but, but I, I guess better. I mean, I, I think. <laughs> oh, he's I just, agree. I he's agree. Just, uh, <laughs> I totally agree. But I don't think. He, I don't more... think he set out being like, you know, what whose career I want <laughs> is Vin Diesel. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's no, what he decided. He, I, think I think what it is like... is like people are like Hollywood looks at muscular leading men and says like recycles ideas constantly. They're just like, oh, Wait, wouldn't it be funny yeah. if we made him a babysitter? It's like, didn't that happen? I don't give a fuck. Make him a babysitter. <laughs> didn't you? Did you guys see the movie Be Cool? No. Oh, yeah. Is that yeah, with yeah, John yeah. Travolta? Yeah. I, I, that's I feel when, like I might seen have. A million. That's when and the, then rock the Rock dressed was... up as like a girl at the end of the movie or some shit like that. I that No, I was like, because he, I, I don't remember if his character is gay. And I don't want to say he was and he wasn't. Mm-hmm. But he carried around this little baseball bat in his trunk. And I thought that that was like, it's like, it wasn't funny, but it was like, it was weird. It was strange. I mean, that's the, the one thing just, that sticks around at me. The Rock's an entertaining tiny dude. baseball bat. I, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that was ad libbed too, because he's just like. Yeah, he wasn't in it much. He was like a side character him. in that movie. Yeah. I'm saying like all the actions yeah. that he did in that movie, I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of just like wung it, and it ended up wung being it? used. Wung it. That's like that's saying that's uh, I can't say winged it. That's that's what it is though. He winged it. Yeah. Yeah, that just sounds odd to me. <laughs> teach, me it, teach, teach me, teach me, teach me. Sounds worse. I yeah, say. Wong it sounds... <laughs> teach me, teach me, teach me grammar, Jake. Really quick, geography. Not, we did it's not grammar. <laughs> That's just tenses. <laughs> <laughs> it's word tenses. Yo, the disrespect that I receive. <laughs> Well, I mean, every week I gotta do do something new. Is voting this week is geography and I guess stats. Um. All right, okay, whatever. We're gonna All do right. a segment called Professor Jake. All right, we're wrapping this up. I'm done with you people. Uh, we got a couple things. Do you I thought do we more? were wrapping it up. I thought, we we, yeah, I was gonna we say. Are, that. No, no, are we, we are. We're, no, no, we're not done. We're wrapping it up, but we're gonna talk about one of these. We already talked about Space Jam. Like five um, minutes ago, I said we had two minutes left. So like. Listen, when in the last four weeks have we given a fuck about this time limit shit? Well, wait, I, I do have shit I want to do today. I also need to be somewhere at 2 o'clock, but fuck it. Whatever. We're here. This yeah, we are. Um, so what time is it? It's 1. We only it's have Monday. like five minutes left on like, okay. our timer so, anyway. Okay, so, so for, the, for the next time, five minutes, we're just all we're going to do is respond to some one, one person who asked a question. No, I'm going to end this if we respond to anyone's shit. All right. Well, we apologize. Anime. Ew, I don't know why we gave Jake. MCU. I don't know why we gave Jake the power. I make good decisions. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! I just dropped my whole shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're not talking about anime becoming the next MCU. No. And we're not talking about uh, Katie Corey's biggest fear come to life working on set. No. Uh, we're not talking about the new M. Night Shyamalan movie, Old. Oh, wait, we can talk about Katie shit. World. We can talk about okay. Katie shit. So Katie, Because I didn't know about this, and I like Katie. So I don't know about that either. That's all right. Yeah. So on Facebook, I asked if anybody wanted us to review or talk about anything specific, and she said, I, I'm Shout assuming this I'm uh, Katie Corey. Yeah. Locations, said- SNL. Locations, SNL. She tried to hire me several times, and I always said no because I'm an asshole, and I never got to work at SNL. Yeah, anyway, I want to work at SNL so bad, and every time you'd say no, I'd be like, dude, fucking I know. Pass yeah, that give off the to me. Well, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm a terrible person. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, but I would like tell you, I told you maybe once. You would tell you you would always tell me after the fact, and no, you didn't tell me once. You would tell right. me like in the car on the way to Jess is just like, oh, yeah, I had to turn down Katie again this week because and be like, dude, why not right. ever tell I, me this? Like, No, she hasn't after. asked me. <laughs> Whatever. OK, whatever. She commented, biggest fear come to life working on set, i.e. getting stuck in the bathroom trailer might have just happened. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still dude, I, got, I got stuck. I got stuck in the bathroom yesterday. Is that your you biggest had to turn the... fear come it's... to life? 
It's not, but I did get stuck in the bathroom because he had to turn the handle up and I kept turning it down. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm stuck in the fucking bathroom. (laughs) Dude, I remember. It's just funny. I don't know if I told this story on the podcast already, but um, I was working with Sashank on this feature and uh, I don't know. I don't know if you know Matt. I don't know his last name, so I can't really. Whatever. Anyway, it was one of the Matt Damon. Matt Damon. It was Matt. He was one of the grips and the director the entire movie he would do these really long takes like it was like stupid something you've never seen before they wouldn't yell rolling or cut they wanted everything like super quiet so the actors could like be like in the moment yada 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 and the takes were really long so once they started rolling that was it you were gone for like 10 minutes whatever you're doing you had to just be there for 10 minutes so matt goes to the bathroom literally seconds before they start rolling and I hear him flush, but it's not like super loud, but I hear him flush and I know he's going to try to leave the bathroom and make mad noise because his bathroom door has been opening all day, just making ridiculous amounts of noise because we're in like some old boxing gym in the middle of the Bronx. Yeah. And I hear him like walk to the door and I just push against the door and Sashank looks at me. And Sashank just starts fucking dying because Matt is now (laughs) stuck in the bathroom where I'm pretty sure he just took a shit. And (laughs) now he's just stuck there. He can't leave. He can't do anything because the director's a psycho. There's actually mad stories about this director back in, he was like shunned from his country and like, I don't know, we could talk about it in another podcast. Um, But he like beat his girlfriend, like this whole thing. Anyway. Jesus. Yeah, so he was nuts. Um, Anyway, this has been the Hold for Everything podcast. We're talking about biggest fears. You got to go, Jake. My my biggest Just... fear on set is probably is probably like a light falling on somebody because that would be my fault and I would be in a lot of trouble. That's probably Bro, that happened my biggest fear. Jonathan, well, it didn't happen with Jonathan, but they were setting up above the bed, the camera, and I don't know what equipment they were using. The equipment was old or something. The camera was too heavy and the fucking camera, before anybody could like test out what it would look like and monitor, it fell onto the bed and everyone was like, Oh my God, dude. Like, no, but was anybody underneath it? Like that's my fear. I don't care about it. No, no, they, they were about to be We have less than a minute. Okay. Oh fuck. I'm looking at 151. I'm sorry, Jake, go biggest fear. I don't have a set set. fear. Like it's all irrelevant to me. Not getting paid. I suppose is my biggest set fear. Well, you're not getting paid for this. This is the whole for everything podcast. We're not on set. All right. Well, I thought it was going to be funny. I thought that was funny. It wasn't funny. Nobody laughed. <laughs> I, I think I gave. I think I gave. I think I gave you a little. Uh-huh. I think yeah. I gave you a little one. Some acknowledgement. Anyway, roll us out, Eric. All right. This has been the whole for everything podcast. This is episode sixteen. I'm going to be late for my COVID test. I'm probably going to get fired from this job. Uh, Jake's going to be late to his date. Jess, who gives a fuck? Because she's in Mississippi, and who knows what time it is. Uh, Jake. I best. just did what Eric did. I flipped off the Jake, camera Jake just without. Looks so time. angry at everything right now. He just looks angry. <laughs> pissed. Where are you going, Jake? What do you What do you got going? Did what you get you that apartment? Going? No, I haven't. I have to actually look at apartments. That's what. Do you I want to move do. into this room? No, I don't need to move. I have till September. Are you moving into one bed or just regular bedroom? A one bed or a regular. What? Are Never. you moving into We're done. an apartment? <laughs> did we did, did we actually do the outro? Yes. Goodbye. Right. Play the music. Hit the music. Hit the music. The Goodbye. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities. Oh, Mother Nature's recipes that brings the bare necessities of life. Look for the bare necessities. What's up, bitch?